what's unique with our agency is we are agency dealing solely on improving riverine and swamp buffaloes to promote, to conserve, and to improve its potential. Our clientele are actually what we call in the farmers. No? Economically, they actually lower income, but uh, we, we actually use the buffalo as a, as a tool to help them in, in uh, um, gain additional income economically uh, to, to earn something out of the buffalo. Sort of, we call, we call it like a buffalo enterprise. So it's, it's an additional um, source of income for them. It is not just a symbol of source of, of draft power, but actually it's important also as a source of milk and meat. That means it's also important why we are pursuing now the research so that we can transform the buffalo into a better source of milk and meat for, for our farmers. That's the only commercially available uh, buffalo snip chip. We immediately jump to the opportunity to use that uh, SNP chip. For genome-wide association studies, we were able to identify 16 to 18 yeah, uh, SNPs that are associated with milk yield, fat yield, and protein yield. The traditional idea we have of large farm is actually not existent in, in Asia or even in the Philippines. What we have is actually some farmers with one, two, five, or probably 10 buffaloes in the house. We're talking of small number of animals and that makes the traditional, let's say, progeny testing or the breeding program implementation very difficult. I use the 90K genotyping array uh, from Thermo Fisher in terms of like uh, for the population structure. So I, will, I was able to identify, let's say, to separate the swamp buffalo from the riverine buffalo and that we have like four riverine breeds here. So we, we were able also to separate, let's say, which animals that I could use for genomic selection and which animals that I, could, that I cannot. It's in a way, it's user-friendly. It's easy to learn because I do not need to do our scripts anymore. I, use, I just use the analysis suite and in the end, I would have the SNPs that I need for downward analysis for, uh, let's say, uh, GWAS or GS. Um, since we're the agency involved in livestock biotechnology, we could apply what we learned from Affymetrics, Thermo Fisher, to other livestock species. We believe that genomic studies also are also needed in, let's say, in the native pig, native chicken. It could expand to other livestock species. We also plan to do, again, GWAS and GS studies on reproductive traits. And then, since there are other um, SNP chips available for other species from Thermo Fisher, we could also use those SNPs on other livestock species. <laughs>